How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the very useful parentnode.children property within the JavaScript document object model. So, the children property gives you a live read-only HTML collection and that will be filled with all the children elements of that parent node. So, for example, let's make a new unordered list inside this body. So we'll say ul and give it an ID of my list. We'll make a few list items here. So we'll say list item, apples, bananas, and pears. The typical decode list. All right, pears, there we are. All right, so obviously here we have the parent node, the parent element, and also three children. So we can use the children property on this unordered list element to get a list of all these three children. So, inside here, let's make a new constant called, let's just say parents list, right? Equal to document dot get element by ID. I'm gonna pass in the my list. So now we have a reference to this unordered list element. So now we can use the children property to get these uh, these these children. So let's say const uh, let's just say um, list children equals parents list dot children. Alright. Let's now log out the list children. We can save this, go in the browser, and then refresh, and we get a HTML collection of three list items. Perfect. Now, we can access one of these child elements by using the usual array syntax like that or using the dot item method. So, let's first look at the dot item method. Let's say const bananas equals list children dot item number one. All right. So this is the index 1. Here we have index 0, index 1, and index 2. So bananas should be that right there. Let's just log out bananas here and we'll see what happens. We'll save this, go in the browser, refresh, and we get bananas. All right. So we can also use the typical uh, array syntax. So instead of this item, we'll just simply say at index one with square brackets. Save this one, refresh, see how we go. Same result. All right. So we can obviously, with this, treat this as an array to loop through it. So let's get rid of this right here and make a new for loop. So we'll say for let i equals zero, i less than list children dot length. So the length property is also part of the HTML collection object, all right, I++. Plus plus. So now, simple as just saying console.log list children at index I. You can save this, refresh once again, and we get all those three children in the console just like that. Okay, now this is actually a live list, which means if I was to you know, take hold of this list children variable or constant, and then I was to add another list item to this list, this will get updated instantly. So, for example, let's make a new list item. We'll call this one oranges item. Equal to document, but create elements. We want to make a new list item element, just like that. We're going to give this oranges item some text, so we'll say dot text content equals oranges. Okay, so now we're going to add this item to this parent list. So we'll say parent list dot append child and pass in this oranges item. So now we have effectively that right there on the screen. We've added oranges to that list, all right? This list children item 
or variable or constant, sorry, was created and given a value before that was called. But this will still include that um, that new element, and that's why it's called a live list. So if we now log out list children down here, we should see that included in the console output. So we'll save this, go in the browser, refresh, and we get a new HTML collection, the previous one, right? With all the four list item elements. Obviously here, we used a loop, so that wasn't included. But down here we get the same object, right? The same constant right there with some new, well, one new element appended onto it. All right, that is how you can use the parent node dot children property in the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.